everyone. I am Ms. Pearl Ria Fernandez, working as a lecturer in the Milagris Degree College in the Department of Food, Nutrition and Dietetics. And today I am going to deal with the topic that is nitration reaction. So what is basically nitration? Nitration is a reaction of benzene. You can see the benzene over here. The reaction of benzene with the sulfuric acid that is concentrated H2SO4 called as sulfuric acid and nitric acid concentrated HNO3. So these two will behave as a nitrating mixture. We call it as nitrating mixture. Nitrating mixture. This will be the nitrating mixture because it is a nitration reaction. Nitration is nothing but basically formation of nitrobenzene. You can see the benzene ring with the nitrogen group at the position but one position that is NO2 group. Nitration is nothing but it is the attack of NO2 group on the benzene ring in presence of the nitration mixture that is your nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid and this takes place at the temperature of 323 to 333 kelvins that is at very high temperatures we get this nitrobenzene as a product and the byproduct will be water molecule. So basically when this reaction takes place, there is a lot of procedure that has to be followed. So first one is the mechanism. So we should know beyond any reaction what is the mechanism or the actual thing that is happening. So first is the mechanism of nitration reaction. So to happen like if you see the benzene, what is the product from the reactant? The product is benzene is getting nitro uh, NO2 group on that. So it is nothing but benzene is getting converted to a new product that is nitrobenzene. So if you observe from reactant to the product, what is the new thing in that? The change that is observed, it is nothing but attack of a nitro group on the benzene ring. So benzene, if you see very carefully, it is a nucleophile. Benzene is a nucleophile. Nitro group is an electrophile. So first of all, we have to generate this electrophile. Benzene will be there available. Nitro group has to be generated. So first step for the mechanism will be called as generation of electrophile. So what happened basically over here is we have the sulfuric acid and the nitric acid that is uh, this is nitric acid and this is the sulfuric acid. So these two acids which are called as nitrating mixture, these both will react and from them the nitro group will be evolved. This is nothing but NO2 plus which is our electrophile and the remaining that is if you observe here, you have one NO3 over here. So you NO2 is evolved, one oxygen is left which is carried by this H2SO4. So what happens? The H group is attacked hydrogen from here. So you get H3O plus. If you observe this reaction, it is a balanced reaction with NO3 group, one nitrogen, one nitrogen. Total there are six, nine oxygen, two, six, nine oxygen. And even hydrogen is also balanced. Similarly, this is a balanced reaction wherein the nitrating mixture combined together to form the electrophile that is NO2 group and the remaining that is HSO4 and H3O+. Now in the next step, we will see how this NO2 group, which is an electrophile, also called as electrodeficient uh, species, okay, it will get attacked to this benzene group and how we proceed with the product. So step one is very easy and very simple step, wherein from the nitration mixture, we get our generation of electrophile. attack of electrophile on benzene nucleus. So as in step 1 we had seen the generation of electrophile that is NO2 group was formed which is called as electrophile. You have been seen that it is NO2 plus okay plus usually indicates the electrophile okay it is a deficiency of electrons so it is generally expressed in a plus sign. Now here what happens you have the benzene nucleus. I call it as benzene nucleus because a nucleus itself indicates it is a nucleophile. So benzene here acts as a nucleophile where it is attacked by an NO2 group 
and you get a carbocation that is NO2 and H+. What happens? As soon as the NO2 groups attack at this benzene ring, there is a popping of a hydrogen group that is a formation of a carbocation where the carbon is obtained positive charge. This carbon is a benzene ring which obtains positive charge indicating unstability. Okay, it is just a formation of an intermediate step okay, where there is a formation of carbocation where the carbon is not having the actual valency maintained of 4 and hence it generates a carbocation. This carbocation will undergo multiple steps and form a resonance hybrid wherein you can see as soon as this plus charge is developed, the plus charge is resonated with the remaining electrons and this way the plus charge will be having the stability. More the resonance structure, more will be the stability of this carbocation and hence in the end of this reaction, that is in the third step, this hydrogen will be removed which will be attacked by the H2SO4 molecule that is the hydrogen is removed and we get a loss of proton that is proton is nothing but indication of hydrogen atom. So this hydrogen is removed and these electrons are balanced and you get a nitrobenzene. And in this way the remaining proton which is removed will be taken by the HSO4 ion and this H2SO4 will be back into the byproduct. So in this way in nitrogen reaction we saw that in step 1 the NO2 was the generation of electrophile with the help of the nitrating mixture that is HNO2 and H2SO4 both combine to form this product and then this electrophile in the step 2 attack the benzene nucleus wherein we got a carbocation to make it more stable it underwent a lot of hybrid, uh, resonance structure forming a resonance hybrid and there on in the third step we saw it is a loss of proton wherein the H2SO4 is gained back and we are getting a product that is nothing but nitrobenzene. So in this way, this nitrogen reaction has three steps with a simple reaction and the three step mechanism. Thank you.